hi guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome as the title suggests in today's video we are going to go through every single la roche product i have ever tried i have to admit i don't have them all at this point so some of them i will just show you a picture of i have tried quite a lot of things from them because in the winter i get quite dry itchy skin and I found their products really, really good to help you manage that. And so we're going to go through everything from head to toe that I ever tried from them. And I will give you a quick description of what the products are for. And then I will tell you my opinion, whether you should purchase them or not, because there are some really, really good things in here. There are some tips and tricks I can give you about them and there are some stuff that I just didn't really find that good or maybe that's not the right word I just didn't really see the difference and let's be honest these are quite expensive products at least for me and I think for most people and so if they are not gonna make any difference you might as well just save that money and buy something else instead. So first let's talk about something that we hopefully all use, which is a shower gel. It's called the Lipicar Syndet Shower Gel, and it's a creamy shower gel to help you manage itchy skin. My skin always gets extremely itchy after showering, and when you keep scratching the same place again and again, is just gonna get even itchier and worse. So I've been dealing that for about the last five years. It can get really bad in the winter. This is the only product I ever found that helps you manage that. However, it is £16.50 for 400 milliliter. That's a lot of money for a shower gel. So my trick is to use a small pump of this and mix it together with your normal shower gel, it will still make a difference. However, if your skin gets really, really bad and itchy, in the area where you normally get itchy, try to use this on its own, and I swear it's gonna make a huge difference. For me, this is a literal lifesaver from La Roche and one of my favorite products from them. It's a really, really good shower gel. It's fragrance free. It's not gonna irritate any type of skin. It's completely safe to use even on babies. However, like I said, it is quite expensive. So I try to use as little as possible and I don't normally use it in the summer when I don't have itchy skin. The next thing we're going to talk about is a moisturizer. I have tried two different types from La Roche and we're gonna talk about both of them. The one I have at the moment is called Lipicar Balm. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. This is a very thick moisturizer, very, very rich. I love using it on itchy skin because again, it's very nourishing, helps you deal with the itchiness. It's a really, really nice moisturizer. But once again, it is very, very rich, very thick. It takes a long time to completely absorb. It is specifically made for itchy, irritated skin that's flaring up. It's 400 milliliter for 20 pounds. So again, quite pricey. However, I find it much easier to justify 20 pounds for a body lotion than 16 pound 50 for a shower gel because you tend to finish a shower gel much quicker. Not to mention that, like I said, this one is a very thick one, so you don't need a lot of it. And another thing I almost forgot to mention is that this one is also suitable for eczema prone skin. The other foundation I don't currently have from them is called Lipicar La Urea. Uh, sorry about the pronunciation. This is a little bit lighter, so it tends to absorb very, very easily. And it also has a slight scent to it, which I personally really, really enjoy. 
is two pounds more than the body lotion I currently have. So this one is 22 pounds for 400 milliliter. And the reason it has five plus in the name is because it has 5% exfoliator in it. So it's very good to deal with rough, dry skin. It's also soothing and anti-inflammatory, just like the other one. But the other one is very rich and nourishing. This one is slightly exfoliating and lighter in texture. I quite enjoy both of them. I have a very good experience with this other one. I'll be honest with you, I accidentally picked up this one instead of the Urea version and I will probably pick up that one again next just because it absorbs quicker than this one and that slight exfoliation that it does is actually really good for the skin to make it smoother. Okay, next let's talk about two lip products I tried from La Roche. The first of them is the Nutritic Lip Balm and this is just your average lip balm, really. It's six pound for 4.7 milliliter of product. This was really a product that didn't do that much for me. I purchased it because I have a really good experience with La Roche and I needed a lip balm. So I thought I'm going to splurge a little bit because let's be honest, six pound is a lot of money for a lip balm. But I thought, what the hell, let's get a nice lip balm and it really didn't do much for me, to be honest. But then I tried their other lip balm, which is the Kika Plus version. It's a pound extra, so it costs seven pounds, and they give you 7.5 milliliter of product. So you get actually quite a lot more than you get from the other one. And this is a literal balm so you have to push the product out and spread it across your lips. And I have to be honest with you, I really enjoyed this one so far. Made a much bigger difference than the other lip balm did. So if you are looking for a good lip balm, don't go with the six pound one, go with the seven pound one. You get more product and in my opinion, it makes a much bigger difference than the other one does. Next, let's talk about hand creams because I spend a lot of time outside in the winter, so my hands normally get quite dry and they even tend to bleed a little bit in the back when the skin gets so dry that it starts cracking. It can be really, really horrible, so I love a good hand cream. The first one I tried from them is the Lipicar one, which is 50 milliliter for £7.50. It's a Pretty nice hand cream. It's white, has no scent to it, and it's a very milky, creamy consistency. It's a really lovely hand cream. This one is a relatively thick one, actually. The second one I tried is from the Kika Plus line, just like the lip balms are. Now, this one is okay but it's definitely a lot thinner and I would say that only use this one if you have very small issue with your hands if they don't get really dry they don't crack because this one is not gonna do that much for you it's just a really nice quickly absorbing hand cream doesn't really do much if you have really bad skin I much prefer the Lipicar one I first showed you. They both are 50 milliliter and they both cost £7.50. So might as well good with the one that does more for you. And the third one, which I actually picked up by complete accident because it looks like a hand cream, is the Kika Plus Baume B5 SPF 50 Balm. This one is not actually for your hand, but I've been using it for my hand and it's actually really good for that. It's slightly smaller than the hand creams. This one has 40 milliliter of product in it for £7.50 and it has a lot of pantanol in it, which makes it very, very similar to Bepanthen. When I first used it, I was like, what the hell am I just applying Bepanthen on my hand? And yes, it is similar to it. 
So it's a very thick product that will warm up on the skin and become slightly oily and slowly absorb. In my opinion, this does the most for the skin. So for example, if you have a skin that really cracks in the winter, I think this is going to do the most. However, technically it isn't hand cream. It wasn't made for that. It's just a small version of a product that they have in a bigger version as well. And like I said, it is a repairing, soothing product that's mainly made out of Panthenol. So it's gonna do very similar things that you would normally get from Bepanthen. And I have two more things to talk about. The first one is going to be La Roche's Thermal Spring Water. The reason I purchased this product before was because I was wearing a full face of makeup at work and after a couple of hours my skin started feeling really dry, really thirsty and it got to the point when I was just not comfortable in my skin and I decided to buy this product to spray it all over my face and have it restore some of that moisture that's been lost throughout the day because obviously when you have a full face of makeup on you can't really do much to moisturize the skin and hydrate it and I found that this spring water is really really good for that because it doesn't move the makeup around. It has a very light mist that's going to very evenly spray this spring water. Yeah, I found it really, really good. The reason I don't have it anymore is because I don't really wear makeup at work anymore, at least not foundation. And so if my skin gets really dry, I'm able to just moisturize it or apply some water to it. And to be honest, my skin doesn't get that dry anymore because I use really good moisturizers. So I don't really use this product anymore, but if you get dry throughout the day, I would definitely recommend picking this up. It is a 150 gram product. If you use it on a daily basis, it's not gonna last that long. And it is seven pounds, which is extremely expensive for some spring water, but it is what it is. Like I said, it has a really nice mist and it's it's a very convenient product to use. And I saved the best for last because if you ask anyone what's their most favorite or the most well-known product from La Roche, they're probably gonna say the Atelios sunscreen fluid. This is how it looks like. It's 50 milliliter for 18 pounds, which is a lot of money, but it's an amazing fluid that has SPF 50 in it. And it's perfect to use under makeup. This is literally the only sunscreen product on the market that you can use comfortably under makeup and it's not gonna disturb your makeup. Sunscreen and sun protection is like the most important thing to do, but most of us don't want to compromise and stop wearing makeup just to be able to have some protection. So something like this is really important to invest in and I don't have this sunscreen at the moment because I use this throughout the summer and honestly I run out and it is 18 pounds so it's a bit up there. I will purchase it again for sure. Like I said, it's an amazing product to use under makeup. Again, I don't really wear makeup that much outside at the moment. And so I can use other sunscreens. It doesn't really bother me that much. But if you wanna use something under the makeup that's not gonna break up your foundation, that's not gonna start getting oily after a while, it's not gonna be heavy on the skin, this is hands down, the best sunscreen to use under your makeup. It's very, very lightweight. It absorbs quickly, leaves no residue. It's absolutely amazing. And again, it's SPF 50, which is really, really hard to find, specifically made for the face. Normally, if you use foundations or moisturizers with SPF in them, they're around 15 to 30, which is just not enough for your face. You need more than 30, ideally 50 on the face. And this is the best sunscreen fluid to do that. It is a bit pricey, but I would say it's an investment. It's gonna 
save you a lot of money down the way because you will need to spend less on anti-aging products in the future and one bottle will last you for about a year so it is it is justifiable in my opinion but that's it for today guys if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because i would love to have you here and until next time take care of yourself i will see you very soon bye